Challenge, you click Contribute Now, help us get to this goal of $500 and thank you. That's right, for $10 a month, you get that 40th anniversary cap that I am wearing. I yeah, sure. I'll send you money. I got a lot of money. Just hang out. How you doing, everybody? Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to Monkey Shine Lab. Such as it is. Underfunded. Subscriber driven. So please remember. So please remember. Hit that little red button for me. It doesn't cost you anything. And I mean, honestly, it's such a good deal. When have you ever got entertainment like this? I'm maneuver maneuvering and, and burping and... Um, I am on the way back to the post office. Uh, if you remember, the uh, story so far is that we're... Uh, uh, my, my mailbox got destroyed. Uh, many of the mailboxes in the neighborhood got destroyed. Uh, they're made out of aluminum, so the creative amongst us have uh, started destroying them, um, breaking into the package deliveries and such to see what they can score because they're junkies. Oops, wrong way. So anyway, I'm gonna go to the post office and while I'm out, you know, I'm gonna go places. For for y'alls, as uh, Zara likes to say. Hi, Naz. Anyway, when I get to a store and I have nerd stuff to show you, I will, uh, I'll do that filmy thingy. For you, it'll be seconds. For me, oh, it's gonna take a while. So, yeah, nothing. Shout out to the house. Um, I didn't expect anything in the main line. I'm I'm done for the for the season on the main lines. Really waiting for next year's stuff to hit, but. Um, Cool. Come on. Cool. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm not surprised by the lack of anything. Oh, that's a good thumbnail, huh? Anyway, um, see if there's anything else. Probably not. Slappage. Shout out to Nazar. Double slap. That's a combo. That's a two piece slap. And I keep walking past this without pointing it out, but that's a pretty cool set. Um, don't really care about a Viper, but that is neat. And I saw, I saw one of these drive by the other day, a silver one here in town. Kind of cool. Flash. Tell me there's a Batman tech deck. I don't need to hear that. I really don't need to know that. If there's a Batman tech deck. Please hide it. From me. I didn't touch anything. I didn't touch it. It's not me. I didn't do that. Isn't this guy in jail yet? So, and then the other thing I was kind of here, honestly, unabashedly to look at. All four, still here. Which is, I don't know, it's a bad sign for the character, but it's a good sign for me because I want one of these things and I don't want to pay 25 bucks for it. Don't nobody want silver. Poor silver. I like the super tiny Millennium Falcon. That's kind of fun. And um, I keep feeling like Nas needs one of those. But there's a lot of them. 
so I'm gonna wait. You guys might get those in the mail someday. Shout out to Rusty. Rusty, come home. We miss you. Uh, cartoon Clock Clawful. I never really watched the show, so I don't know. Somebody's stashing nano drones and Cody's. And Tony D'Angelo. First time in the line. Look, it's John Cena in a golf livery. Kinda dig it. That's really cute. That's basically a, uh, a figure, a non-articulated figure, sort of, but it's the old, uh, God, what was it, Polar Lights? Yeah. Polar Lights did this, and, I, and it, they had parts that would glow on it. This was a good stop. <laughs> Holy jumping cats. Had a few clue cars. But this is what I'm really here to check on. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Still here. Oh, I have to. I have to reshoot I have to reshoot the whole thing. I'm talking to my dogs. They've already seen this. Um, there's some really great light coming through my window right now. They kind of call this the golden hour. So I was hoping to use this on my table over there to kind of lay these comic books out that I have picked up from the office, or from the, from the post office. Um, but uh, I'd like to start out by letting everybody know that on the 26th, of October, which is tomorrow. On the 26th of October is free comic book day. So if you are here in Salem, at least I know uh, Radar is participating. I do not know if Omega Frog is, is having free comic book day at all. Um, and I would imagine that places like uh, Everything Blaine Likes are not really participating because they're not comic book shops. But if you go to your local comic book shop, they will be participating and there will be people in cosplay. There are artists who stop in at various comic shops. Uh, 
you know, temporary tattoos and face painting for the kids and stuff like that. And the, the name says it all, Free Comic Book Day. There are probably going to be at least a half a dozen to uh, a dozen different types of comic books for different types of readers. They're all free. You can walk past the table and pick up a, an entire armload of free comic books. So check with your local dealership to see if they're participating because I know Radar is and I'm gonna try to get over there uh, to see them starting at 10 o'clock and they usually go from 10 o'clock to two o'clock. Um, speaking of Radar Toys, I did go over there and pick up uh, this copy of Alpha Flight. I mauled this so badly that um, I'm glad to be able to uh, talk about it again. <laughs> um, this one has a guest appearance by the Hulk, which is always cool. And then um, th this was all I was, I stopped into Radar to blow off some steam and blow and uh, waste some time because I had to go pick up stuff at the, at the uh, uh, post office. And it was just swamped at, at lunchtime. So I went to Radar and I picked these up. Um, and this one here, which is, is way cool. Um, it's called Strange Adventures. And um, I love Bizarro World. So I'm gonna be looking into this. It's, it looks like it's fun. There's Adam Strange's on the cover, um, Bizarro and a, and a bunch of other characters I don't quite recognize yet, but I hope to. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Those were gotten over at Radar um, for less than $4. For all those so or actually the combination of those two was five excuse me but now I'm gonna show you some books that I picked up for a buck these were happening at um, auctions on whatnot so if you um, would like to know some of the better sellers on there I can talk to you about some of the people that I've been dealing with I think that they do a fantastic job of getting you the stuff uh, to your house and uh, not charging you an arm and a leg for it. Like I said, this was a buck. Um, I'm not sure on the year of these, but Secret Origins is a, uh, a title that I've been collecting. Something about the uh, names being printed right here tells me that this is not such an old book, but I do like the, uh, I do like the art. It, it's very old representations of all of these characters, these super villains. Um, and it's, uh, it's a big fat number one book and in good shape. Um, and then one that isn't in such good shape. This is what they call a reader copy. It's, you know, ones that have, uh, stood the test of time, but they have been loved by other, uh, owners previous. So if you take a really close look, there's, uh, there's a lot of seasoning going on on the, on the corner there. Um, this book is, uh, it could probably do with a cleaning and pressing. Yes, that is something that happens with comic books. And I'd love to uh, entertain some of my more serious collectors out there with a, with a question as to if you think it changes the value at all to remove the dirty handed patina from a uh, from a comic book, you know, um, it's 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 a little bit like rolling the the speedometer back on a car. Um, and then the last one I wanted to show you was uh, this thing and the man thing two in one, which down at the bottom it says Ben Grimm fights with uh, Nick Fury and his howling commandos. This is before Nick Fury became you know Nick Fury of Shield. Uh, you can see that the spine has rolled. It's, uh, you know, the staples are on the front of the magazine. But again, I don't care. This was a 50 cent comic book, people. They were never expected to live as long as they have back in the day. We appreciated them. Uh, sometimes to the point of the covers falling off and everything else. I mean, it's not like today with your glossy paper. And your... <laughs> anyway, that's what I've got for you today. Um, 
One more thing I did want to talk about a little bit is the collector's uh, corner at that one Target. They are making action figures now of old school um, uh, costumes like we used to wear in the 60s and the 70s with the uh, elastic banded, you know, flat faced mask and the suit that always had the face of the person that you were, like Casper or whatever, on the front of it too. They were like jumpsuits. Um, I like those. But whoever's making this secondary set of them with things like gremlins and stuff like that that we never had when we were kids, those kind of missed the mark for me. What do you think about them? The, the, the figures that the, the suits are on look good enough, but I think that they're kind of trying to trade on some nostalgia that some other folks have sort of stumbled upon, quite honestly, with the success of those uh, those Halloween costume things. And I think that the love for that all goes back to NECA's set for um, Halloween 3 with the trick-or-treating kids. And I wonder why I have a headache a lot. Can you imagine thinking about this crap? Wow. Oh, my head is killing me now. What have I done? All right, I'm out of here, folks. Oh, uh, stick around. For those of you who stayed through my Patura, uh, neat little video here for you at the end. See you tomorrow. Bye. These are very young yet. Uh, probably going to need a little bit more uh, time. But probably in the next couple of days or so be changing color and um, then they'll get all the little uh, Mario spots on them and stuff. But what you're looking at is called Amanita muscaria. <laughs>